Well, as Barbie hits the big screen this weekend, we're taking a look back at where her story began. And some of that history is stored at Harvard Schlesinger Library. The pieces are a part of a collection from Barbie creator Ruth Handler, who died in 2002. Now, among them are dozens of boxes of drawings, letters, and fan mail from the woman who dreamed up the plastic sensation. Now, there are no Barbies in the collection, but from the papers, we did learn that Ken and Barbie were named after Handler's children. A professor of history at Harvard spoke with us about the significance of this collection in American history. They caught on very fast. Uh, you know, they, they caught on um, and had endless opportunities for tie-in purchases. You know, you didn't just buy a doll. You bought the new outfit uh, season after season and the new accessories. Um, it's interesting to me as an American historian how many of the accessories um, followed a sort of suburban dream, right? Barbie, Barbie is uh, coined in 1959. This is when the Levitt towns and the other older suburbs are growing up. And what does she come with? She comes with dream houses and vans uh, to take advantage of national parks and, uh, and fabulous cars to take advantage of the new American highways. So part of what helped her catch on was the way that you could build a world around her that was like the world that Americans in the post-war wanted to build in their own lives. Now, Kamensky, Kamensky also told us that Handler battled breast cancer and later created a custom prosthetic breast company. There's so much history in Barbie that sometimes I've forgotten, too, like all the different occupations and the clothes and right. the themes. Yeah, and, and to see how it mirrored what was happening in the country. Now it mm. makes more sense why it caught on and had such lasting power. Yeah.